Okay, so today I want to talk real quick about solving one-step equations, but we're only going to look specifically at solving them with an addition or a subtraction problem. So we'll save multiplying and dividing for later. So first thing I want to look at is this problem right over here. We have x plus 5 equals 12. First step always when I'm solving equations is I kind of want to put what we call our great divide. I want to split my equation into two sections. So I have one section over here where the x is, and then I have one section over here where my 12 is, or my answer is. Now, since we're solving equations, this is going to be all about working backwards. We have our answer, but we're missing some information. So we need to go backwards to find that missing information. So the idea is to get this little x to be by himself, or I want to isolate him. So right now I have this positive 5 or plus 5 next to that. So in order to get rid of that, I need my opposite operation, or my inverse of that number. So the opposite of a positive 5, or adding 5, would be negative 5 or subtracting 5. So if you kind of think about it as a number itself, which is why I put the box around it here, that's going to look like a positive 5. So my opposite is a negative 5. Now, equations are all about balance. So if I did minus 5 or negative 5 on the left, I need to do the same thing on the right. So I'm going to put my negative 5 over here. Now I need to simplify. I'm going to treat this just like it was a math problem. So to me, that looks like 12 minus 5. And 12 minus 5 is going to give me 7. Now I have what, I'm, what I have left over on the other side is my x, so I'm going to bring him down and I'm left with x equals 7. Okay. Now let's hop over to our other side and let's look at our subtraction problem. This is going to be slightly different but really kind of the same idea. My first step that I want to do is I want to split it down the middle just like I did the last one. I'm going to create my great divide. Now I have my two sides. So let's go ahead and remember it's all about isolating the x. I want this little guy to be by himself. So again, I'm going to box around my, my, the only thing with that x, which here looks like a negative 3. Again, I'm looking for the opposite of that. So the opposite of negative 3 is going to be positive 3. And if I did it to my left side, I have to do it to my right side. So now I'm looking at negative 10 plus 3 or a positive 3. I have 10 negatives, 3 positives. That's going to give me some zero pairs, and if I do the math on that, that's going to come out to be negative 7. Again, I look what I have left over on my other side. I got my x nice and isolated because these 3's are going to cancel out. Bring down what's left over, and I have my x equals negative 7. Okay, and to do this, you can always use your calculator or you can show models to kind of represent that as, uh, as well. All right, I want to do one more problem here that we're going to see because this some, sometimes throws people off. We may see something like this, negative 3 plus x equals negative 10. Now, a lot of people get freaked out because they say, oh, no, I have a negative 3 right there. What am I going to do? How do I do that? It's all exactly the same. Okay, so again, we're starting with our, in, with our great divide, splitting it down in two, and then I need my inverse. So I'm going to say, well, here's my x by itself, so I'm going to put a box around here. I have a negative 3. I need the opposite of negative 3, which is a positive 3. And again, if I did that over here on the left, I have to come over here and do the same thing on the right. So I put my positive 3, just like last time. These 3's are going to cancel each other out because I have 3 negatives and I have 3 positives which are going to give me 3 zero pairs. So over here on the same side I have negative 10 plus 3 and again that gives me a negative 7. I bring over the x that I have left and now I have x equals negative 7. So you see it's the exact same thing as we did before. Just really focus on what do you have here and it's all about the opposites. Okay, good luck guys.